All right, so let's take a look at how we can go into this uh, shooting P03. Make sure you save everything. And I kind of like this one uh, the most here uh, in terms of um, what we want to do to start off with. So first of all, we're just going to basically um, use this first. Um, uh, we're just going to use this one first, uh, the, the small one, because we want to use something that's incredibly small to prototype whatever it is we need to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add in a new folder and we'll call this small level. Okay, and of course we can't have spaces. And when you work in many different um, development environments like I do, sometimes you get, uh, you have to, you're used to working with one and then you work in another. But anyway, so let's say shooting, we'll call this small room p01 okay there you go so what this is is that this is going to be the small room here uh let's see let's just kind of back up here and why don't we build the lighting while we're at it um just because um well it obviously doesn't look good i'm going to pause the video till it build okay so now that we have uh this video uh here uh you can see uh that and i've built everything let's go ahead and let's take a look at um at how everything is working. All right, so first of all, I'm going to take this blocking volume and I'm just going to just move that down just above here so that we can't jump. Okay, so you'll see. Yeah, okay, we can still kind of jump in here, but we'll probably have to fix that a little bit more. But what we want to do is I'm just going to actually take this blocking volume and just move it right down uh, for now. Okay, uh, so anyway, um, as you can see, we need to do something uh, with this here. And um, the something that we need to do is we need to add in um, a ball that we're going to um, that we're going to be dropping here. So I think the easiest thing to do would be to add in a bunch of these balls and um, what that will do is uh, that will we'll basically drop them and you'll have to shoot them. okay? So one thing I am going to do, is I am going to drop this down so we get a little bit more light. All right, just like that here. Okay, good. So for now, let's just do that here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to drag in an empty pawn. Okay, and let's just switch down to the top perspective here. Okay, and then we'll go back to the perspective here. And let's see, we'll just drag that over kind of like this here. Now, if we push play, well, nothing happens because, well, this isn't really anything. So let's um, let's go into pawn here. Uh, let's call this um, we'll call this ball, okay? And then uh, we have the ball. Let's um, go in, and we can actually double click it here. Um, and uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, if we have this content here, we're gonna have a ball, and we're gonna add in. A sphere okay We're basically just going to add in a sphere like that and then if we go ahead and push play we now have a sphere and I believe it is solid yeah it is solid so actually that's kind of an interesting thing um, too and this is, is one of the things I love about rapid prototyping is that once you get in there you have an idea now this could be a, its own game by itself where you kind of move forward here and you, and you kind of shoot shoot the ball and it ricochets and does um, does something else um, ricochet wise um, but anyway um, we now have um, we now have this uh, ball here and uh, what we want to do um, is we can theory add in a blueprint to this and what we'll do is we'll just create that ball blueprint uh, for now okay and then we have and the reason why I wanted to do this is that I wanted to go into the viewport here and you can see that we have the sphere and we can change the sphere to um, uh, we can change the sphere to pretty much whatever we want but what we want to really do is simulate this physics and uh, we want gravity to be there as well so let's go ahead let's save it and let's kind of um, let's kind of just minimize that here and push play and well did it fall or something? Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Let's kind of move that up. 
Okay. And there we go. It, it disappeared for some reason. But in any event, uh, let's just drag another one out here. Let's move that up. And then let's scroll up, move that towards. In fact, we could probably move it like right up there here. And then it disappears here. But any, and nevertheless, here we do have this ball um, going up here. And um, if we actually, if we double click on this here, uh, the sphere, and that seems to be outside. Huh. There we go. There we go. And you can see that you can kind of move it around here. And that could also be a, a game in itself, too. Right? You can kind of move the, the ball or whatever and have it move around. So there we go. That's um, part of the issue. Let's just kind of move out here. Yeah, for some reason these balls are... I think that's actually a light. No, that is the ball. I think that's something else actually though. Nevertheless, um, we do have the ball. It's now working. And in the next tutorial we can start adding uh, some of the uh, some of what we're going to be doing. Uh, some of the logic. All right, so let's take a look at this ball blueprint here. And you can see it has this um, click to edit ball blueprint, or you can just simply double click it on here. One of the things that's, um, that's not quite working right now is you can see that we have a default root scene and we also have a sphere that's inherited, okay? Now, for whatever reason, this sphere is, well, as you can see, well, all the way out here for some reason, right? If you look back up, you know, back up here you can see that it's just somewhere out there now why is that well let's go ahead let's go into the root scene here and then the sphere let's move that guy over now what should happen is let's just kind of go back here let's push play and there you go now let's just kind of hop back here. So we have the sphere and the sphere is inherited. So let's go to edit blueprint and open the blueprint editor here. And you can see that there's this extra sphere that's just somewhere outside. So some for some reason it got put outside. So what we're going to do is just move everything to the origin and then that should be it. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's uh, compile it and save it. And there you go. Okay, so let's uh, minimize that here and um, save it and let's actually just delete this for the moment and let's drag this out here so sometimes that happens and what we can do is we can just push alt and move things over and we can have three of these things here and now we have these three balls that we can go ahead and and, and use here okay okay so there we go. We now have three balls. And in fact, we could probably make several games just out of out of this right here. But for now, that's how we add in the physics ball. And we're going to take a look at how we can add in um, some uh, to make this somewhat of a game.